Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2021 tarot reading. This is for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now if you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then usually again Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. You could check a different part of your chart or you could even watch an older reading if the title speaks to you in some way. I did post predictive, year predictive readings for the year of 2021. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, you might enjoy those. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. That will help you to know when new readings are posted. All right, let's get the guidance here for Gemini, please. What messages do you have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know? Okay. So we'll do our tarot reading here, then we will do an Angel Answers Oracle card reading too. So we begin here, you've got the Page of Cups as your current situation. And the immediate influence is the Ten of Pentacles. Now you have the Five of Pentacles in your destiny. The distant past, you have the lovers. The more recent past, you have temperance. Interesting, the energy coming towards you is the two of cups. Now you're represented here by the tower. The person or situation you're dealing with is the queen of swords. You've got the emperor and your hopes and fears. The ace of wands in the outcome. Now your clarifiers, this is interesting. You've got two fives. So these are like obstacles and things that you need to be aware of in order to you know, reach this outcome or what, what do you need to know or what do you need to be aware of in order to be successful, basically. So I find that to be interesting because I feel like you have very positive cards here and it's almost like they're telling you to make some kind of change in your outlook. There's something about this with that five of cups and you represented by the tower. So you have here, you've got Gemini here, you have Sagittarius, you have Aries, um, you've got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You do have air. You've got fire too. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you do have earth, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Cap. So you basically have all the signs represented. Um, you know, you, <laughs> you've got definitely law of attraction stuff going on around you with the Ten of Pentacles and this Page of Cups. Now, for some of you, you may have gotten some money or you may have money coming in, especially if you live in America. Maybe you're getting a little bit of stimulus money here or you just recently got it. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things where the government gives out money to everyone. And so for some of you that are already feeling financially stable, it allows you a little bit of money to have fun. The Page of Cups is all about fun. He's light. He's into entertaining. It's really a time with these two together of doing just a little bit of an extra thing for yourself, okay? A little bit of self-care here that maybe you wouldn't normally engage in. Maybe you call in sick one day, kind of play hooky from work and go to the spa. I don't know, but it's something like that. And it brings great joy. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is an awesome card. It's the wealth card. So the wealth card with law of attraction energy, you can't go wrong with that. You're definitely bringing in money. You've got a new opportunity here too, by the way, not only in love, but you also have an opportunity in some kind of business or something like that. Um, now I will say with love, you may be breaking it off with someone to, to be with a soulmate, or maybe you have already walked away from a soulmate and onto another, okay? And so, and I know I'll probably get flack for that. I mean, we can have many soulmates in this lifetime. So, um, or maybe it wasn't a soulmate. Maybe you walked away from something that you knew was not it. And you do have a soulmate here, though, coming towards you. The only reason why I say you walked away from one is you have one in the past and you've got one here, too. Um, now, the I will tell you this. The Page of Cups can be an X coming back. So it also could be this coming here, too. That's also possible. But what I feel like they're telling you to do, if that's you and you're looking for reconciliation... Don't think about the reconciliation. Focus on the money. Get yourself squared away and on to other things, on to other subjects, whether it's fitness, health, doing things to lift your vibration. And this is a great way to do that. 
So um, for those of you that are looking to attract an ex, they're giving you clues. They're telling you how to do just that. So the five of pentacles is here. Now you do have three fives in the reading and those are change. So embrace change here because it's really for your highest good. The five of pentacles is though really not completely the dark night of the soul because you're leaving something and yes, it feels important. It feels valuable, but you haven't lost it all. You've still got this companion with you, sort of this um, guide in the night. And it may, and it may even be your higher self. You may have lost something and it felt significant, feels significant, but you connected more on a spiritual level. You know, this card too always makes me think of, it's from the Bible, knock and the door will open. There are very few cards that feature windows such as this one. And I feel it always is, is calling that. It's calling that to the people who get this card. Knock and the door will open. Ask and it is given. So in the distant past here, you had the lovers. And here you are, Gemini energy. And it's guided by Archangel Raphael. It's a card of love. It's a card of companionship and of a of, of serious relationship. But it's also a card that depicts choice. However, with that, the choices do tend to be positive. So if you walked away from a soulmate and, and it's, it's that person coming back around, there is healing energy here to allow that to happen. Uh, it really is a card, though, too, of being a match in terms of work, in terms of, you know, being in a relationship. At some point, this had to have been good because this card doesn't show up. Otherwise, I feel like you would have the, the devil here or something if it was a toxic relationship. And maybe you just got out of alignment. That could be too. Um, but again, there could be new love here too for some of you. I don't want to get too sidetracked off into reconciliation and be exclusive there. But I do feel like what they're telling you, maybe there was some petty stuff, nonsense going on here with this five of wands. And maybe there was some kind of mis a misunderstanding or something. Um, but I do feel like if it's a breakup in some way, you've got sorrow here. There's sadness here. And it really is about finding appreciation, kind of pulling yourself out of that energy. If you're still stuck in this, you want to be moving yourself away from it because you've got great aspects showing up here. So lift your vibration. Be in that page of cups. Energy. Hum a little more. Whistle. Whatever you need to do. Have fun. Because there's energy here to bring in something really great. So you also have Archangel Michael here in te the Temperance card. And this is also a card of connecting with your own spirituality, dips his toe into this pool of the soul. And there's a new dawn coming here. There's a new day. And they also tell you to wear the world like a loose fitting garment, be easy about things. So for some of you, <clears throat> the manifestations may be coming a little slower than they need to be because of too much focus on it. There's too much attention on the lack. And so in the, in this, it's really about being present. It's being right now, right here in your everyday existence. So if you're watching tarot, you're watching tarot. If you're doing the dishes, you're doing the dishes. If you're walking the dog, you're walking the dog. The mind is not 10 steps out in front of you. And so that may be part of, for some people here, why there's been some challenges with manifesting. But the temperance card galvanizes people. This also is about bringing people together. It's a wonderful energy, a healing energy, an uplifting energy. So for some of you, you may have met someone new who's a real uplifter and a go-getter. And like I said, they are, even though this is Sagittarius, they like to bring people together. I do get Aquarius for somebody so it's possible you're attracting somebody new, especially with that Queen of Swords too um, being there. That also could represent you, even though this is about who or what you're talking about. It's possible you're in their life path and that's why it shows up there for you. But either way, this is a beautiful energy to have and it leads right into more with this Two of Cups. There's a match here. And the, the connection is real. You know, it really is an energy connection that isn't, you know, it's not um, stifled. It's an ongoing connection. So whether it's new or it's someone from the past. Now, for some of you that are looking to take on a new business adve adventure, I was going to say venture, but adventure is fine too. 
you know, you've got this coming towards you. You've got great ideas and allow yourself through meditation. Temperance also is about that, a card of quieting the mind, meditating and getting into source energy. Allowing yourself to have those great ideas to come in because with the Ace of Wands, you'll be compelled to take action. So this also, for some of you, may be a partner at work or in business or something like that that allows you to you know, maybe you, maybe it's something with graphic design I get. Maybe that's not you, but that's their facility. So maybe you're a writer and they're a graphic designer. Something like that where you two can work together in a way. Um, and, and maybe it's even too finding the right people on websites like Upwork and Fiverr. That also could be. But either way, it's you meeting a match. It's you being in tandem with something here. And it's something really good. It brings in great outcomes. So this is kind of interesting that you're represented by the tower. Okay, so it, it came in like a wrecking ball, Gemini. <laughs> Those of you that walked away from a relationship, you might have somebody who feels this way towards you. That's how they see you. But honestly, what, what isn't meant for you isn't here to stay. You know, just as much as is what is meant for you won't miss you. It's just the same concept, really. And so... With this, though, that deep spirituality shows up again. The lightning bolt here knocks that crown off, and that is your spirituality separating you from the ego. This is a tower built on sand, and it's not here to stay. It's not sustainable. So whatever this was, and for some of you, it might be health. I do get that, too. If you got high cholesterol, somebody's going to be changing their diet big time, and it may be a real wake-up call, okay? Okay. This is a wake-up call in your life. So if you've had a close call with your health or you've had someone close to you that you've watched them and said, I don't want this, but I feel like I'm attracting it on some level, you're going to pivot. You're going to make a turn and it's like, you know, uh, a 180. You're turning all, you're going in the opposite direction of whatever this is. Now, for some of you, this card too is like a corporate raider to me. It's basically like coming in, giving a, complete overhaul, a complete uplift. I mean, it's like flipping a house that's infested and rotting into, you know, like those shows that you see and it's just gorgeous. What you end up with is so much better. It's amazing energy. So allow this because I'd rather see this than like the eight of swords where it's really stagnant and stuck. You don't want that because who wants to be stuck? So for some of you, you're attracting this queen of swords energy and it may be somebody who is honestly very intelligent, but I feel like it's also an energy that tells us not to take ourselves too seriously and to have a little fun. So you may have somebody here who comes into your life that's very articulate, they're very um, funny, and I feel like they have a very dry, sarcastic sense of humor. Boy, that Midwest accent came out on that. Dry, sarcastic sense of humor, is that better? Um, and they're very, they're just... Um, hilarious person um you, you know even though like i said it's a card of like don't take yourself too seriously now it might also be to your business partner whoever this is and this could be a side business it may not be your main priority or maybe it's a project that you work on through your job and whoever you're paired with is just a um good fit for you either way i do feel like you uh you have the right energy here you're both even though it's both air it's okay i feel like there's enough differences here that it moves forward so this also too could be a serious conversation for some of you if you're reconciliation folks this person wants to talk to you and they want to clear things up there may have been like i said i think earlier some kind of misunderstanding and they do want to make things right with you they do want to bring out the truth it's a card of clarity and so with this you've got the emperor here and this is in your hopes and fears. You're looking to get back on track. You're looking to get structure in place. And for some of you, if it's health related, this is a great energy to have because he follows the rules. If it's whole 30, if it's eat four servings of protein a day, doesn't matter. Whatever they tell you to do, you'll stick to it with this. It's also a very fatherly energy too, coming around you, a protective energy. So maybe who you're attracting with that queen of swords is also protective of you. Especially, like I said, for reconciliation, if there's been a misunderstanding, 
I feel like this person has had your back. They have not been out there gossiping about you and being two-faced about you. They are sorry. I feel like they're sorry for whatever happened here. And so um, you've got a few things going on here with the Ace of Wands. Great energy for you. Um, certainly can be that olive branch. This could be an apology coming from that Two of Cups. It also can be a new passion and a new endeavor, and it brings in more. This is a card of more and growth and expansion. It really is like waving your magic wand and bringing to your reality whatever you can see in your mind's eye. Because if you can see it in your mind, you can have it in your reality. So you've got a new chapter starting here, and there's money involved. And it's it's definitely about, because the, the wands too are the upwardly mobile class in the tarot. So it's kind of an interesting, the tarot is interesting because the swords also are of wealth. And these are sort of like the up and coming. So I feel like you're sort of like the next newest thing coming in. If it's some kind of new thing with business, again, it's like this thing that is on the cutting edge. You know, it's moving forward in a relationship, though. There's great passion here. There's an energy connection. And there's really love in this reading. So let's see what the angels have to say here for Gemini. I feel like it's going to be a good year ahead for, for you guys. So let's see what else we find out here. What else do we need to know here? And how about a timeline, please? And a yes, no, maybe. All right, you've got, if you believe, ask, believe, receive, Gemini. So just know it can be yours. Be unlimited in your thinking. Meditation brings answers. Well, we talked about that with temperance, did, didn't we? And so they want to make sure you're clear on this because you've got some, um, you know, you've got a lot about love here, but making sure that we're connecting to that spiritual side. Remain positive. So you can't really be down with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands energy together. They're definitely uplifting energies. And they say within the next few weeks, so you've got choose a new direction, and I feel like that has to do with the tower. So it may happen quite suddenly. It's quick and sudden change, and it may be something where you get you get an eye opener. Something is a real eye opener here, and all of a sudden it's like, well, I see the direction is very clear here now. So I love you, Gemini, and I'll be back again soon.